Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is the collective reading for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much for being here. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situation. Okay, let's see what's coming over to you guys, please. What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? What can I get for Sagittarius, please? You have the Sun card. You have the Page of Swords. You've got the High Priestess. Very nice. The Two of Wands. You have the Four of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Hidden Energy, you've got the Seven of Pentacles in here. You have the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, very balanced. Let's start your reading, Sagittarius. The Sun card, the Page of Swords, the, the High Priestess, something tells me that you could be there's a need for you to there's a need for you to review um a specific situation sagittarius um well first of all the sun card you're starting to feel more comfortable with your routine your daily routine your wellness uh there's something of a happy vibe happy mood it could be that you just completed a big project it could be you've just completed a very busy week um but there's a specific focus to look into small things small deta details because if you look at the page of swords she's very inquisitive you know sometimes life is to i mean now it's looking like it's april month now you know so page of swords it's looking like you are forgetting to to examine little things in life that you enjoy you know because if you look at the sun card the page of sword if you look at the sun card in the page of swords these are small things like small daily activities that you enjoy but you haven't done so maybe this is you know take a Take a walk, take a break. Um, there's something about you, Sagittarius, that your intuition is somehow depleted. And you are, you are being advised to re redirect your energy towards small things that you enjoy. Like free, sm like free, free stuff. Sunshine and the Page of Swords just simply looking into the world, reading the newspaper, simple things. You you have been so big of an adventurous for some of you guys. Like, I'm kind of picking up. You need to power up with your intuition. There's something with you that you kind of need to rest and to tap in grounded. Thank you, Spirit. Like, there's something in you that in the next 24 hours, you might feel like not doing anything big you know maybe in the next 24 hours you're just going to really you know walk uh sunshine simple if you look at the page of swords you don't want any drama you don't wanna you you don't want to you don't wanna read gossip or really breaking news you just want to simplify and read relaxing music not so loud there's something about your reading that your soul high priestess your soul sagittarius is somehow in order for you to generate positive energy in order for you to kind of connect with your core intuition is 
to clear, to reset, to ground, and just to embrace simplicity, like simple activities, you know, walking under the sunshine, being out and about and just sitting and just watching people around you, just simply doing activities, light activities, light thinking to power up again with your intuition. Something tells me your soul, um, Sagittarius, the, the soul, the, the energy inside of you, it's wanting a reset, okay? You have been doing a lot of big, big things. You've been eyeing, you've been targeting a lot of big adventures, big things in the past. So there's, there's a feeling in the next 24 hours plus two to three days of depleted. That is, your intuition is telling you, you need to power up. In order for you to listen to your core, to your intuition, it's asking you to slow down and do simple, like embrace simplicity, ground your, ener ground your, your energy, be close to nature. Look at that. Page of Pentacles. The King of Swords. The reason why the universe is telling you, Sagittarius, you've been pretty busy. You've been doing a lot of big tasks, processing big information, dealing with big emotions. This next two to three days, keep it small, keep it light, keep it grounded because there's going to be a message that will come to you in the next two to three days. And it is needing clarity. Okay. It's a positive message that if you are overwhelmed of the past, big task, big ambition, big adventure, big feelings, you might miss to understand the message into this page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So do a bit of a, take a break. If you feel like you're tired, you know, sometimes when we're, we're so busy, sometimes when we're so busy in life and we do succeed, you know, like, yes, sunshine, I'm busy today. I'm productive and I'm getting things done. It's a lot of information to process, you know, like it's when you achieve a lot, big emotions, big information, it tends to overwhelm the soul in us and if it's overwhelmed then we will have i would say a little bit of challenge when it comes to listening to that intuition because we overuse it okay so your soul is asking you can i take a break sagittarius in the next two to three days can you just slow down and can you take me to a place to um, an activity where it's close to nature, you know, one of the best way to power up with your intuition, to do a reset, to do a grounding ritual is to just be out and about, just sit under the sunshine, just be in the nature, you know, smell the wind, the air, you know, nature is close to God, nature is close to, um, to the higher power. It really is refreshes. Like your reading is telling me, refresh your soul. Because there's going to be a message that you would be needing a lot of your intuition in there with this message. So, Page of Pentacles, King of Swords. This is a very important message. Yes. This is a person in the past or someone like this is a queen and a king. You've been waiting for this message. So, if your intuition, if your energy, if your intuition and your energy is tired, you might miss to understand the message of this King of Swords. The message of this King of Swords is that they want to partner with you. They don't want to fight. They return to be your partner. They return to get your contract. They return to be with you, Sag. Okay? And you might miss that because you might be overwhelmed. You might be grumpy. You might be moody. You might miss this opportunity. It's a wonderful opportunity. It looks like a partnership. It looks like a contract. It looks like an invitation to partner, to talk. It's very optimistic. It's very calm. So consider reset, a reset ritual, okay? Now, further to that, 
you have the two of wands the four of cups and the eight of wands yeah i mean it's pretty much the same message if you look at the two of wands before you can like your soul your intuition your energy sagittarius it's telling you to hey sag uh this week um before you one of these days of this month um we're going to easter maybe you need to reflect the easter break but it's telling you before you do something big again or process big emotions or process big tasks can you take a break if you look at the two of wands it's blank it's gray and white and it's reset you know there is an overload of information and emotions that i'm picking up today for you sometimes we don't know that sometimes we're just grumpy you know like it's a feeling sagittarius like why do i feel grumpy why do i feel tired why do i feel like i'm eating but i'm not you know why do i feel like i'm eating but i'm still hungry why do i feel like i you know i just ate slept for this hours and yet i'm still tired overload of feelings overloaded of feelings and information can make you depleted so it's your the, the universe is telling you reset like before you plan something big because sag when you dream you really dream big when you plan you you aim high so you hear you look small so try to reset try to just look into blank paper you absorb thank you spirit that's the that's the word is that you have absorbed a lot of information you have absorbed a lot of emotions and process that so it's time to do a reset okay maybe you're traveling it looks like in the airplane but a good break a, you know a good break close to the nature is good and also you're being asked to somehow slow down like do simple things like appreciate small things you have forgotten to do small tasks you have always aim high like big big things around you you're forgetting to i don't know to do something small around you the sunshine like breathe in breathe out you know so feel your body with what it needs and it needs break it needs nature it needs water it needs air it needs sunshine basic simple because you have processed a lot of emotions and feelings look at you you're drowning if you have been grumpy and moody, it's because of that so um before eight of wands look at that before you take charge again and rule the world take a break and the way the universe is um telling you to take a break it's big the way this reading is telling you to take a break is do simple things don't overload yourself like i'm kind of picking up like i'm, I'm picking up a vibe where it's so much so much information so much numbers so much letters so much information that you process digital detox as well because there's gonna be a groundbreaking message that would come through and i believe this message this information this inter this situation is something that you need a positive a clear mind when it comes along and right now in the next two to three days if you listen to your intuition telling you take a break take a sunshine yeah the chariot card stay away from stay away from fast forward fast food or something that's very very fast you know imagine you're standing and it's traffic and that's lots of vehicle stay away from that take a break you got an important message to break down to understand very soon it could be connected to it could be connected to money it could be connected to an investment a personal investment a partnership but you've got an important message that you would be needing to process and it's a red flag to of sorts the six of pentacles it would be needing your full attention it will be needing your what do you call that it will be needing you to be very very attentive and very smart it's a partnership it could be connected to a business but it it's most likely a personal partnership in here yeah they have moved on from the past and they're ready to talk to you and 
the world guard they want to see you they want to travel knight of wands they're willing to compromise they're willing to give what you want they're willing to kind of you know they're willing to extend what took place in the past and understand your requirements what you want what is your feelings it's 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 a reading where i'm here to understand you i'm here to support you i'm here to love you whoever this person is yeah i'm here to love you sagittarius they might appear to be cold you're the queen they're ki they're the king so the the initial conversation could be cold could be airy very airy but it will come to a point where emotions through emotions through feelings honest intentions it will come out it's needing a reset of your intuition because this is something that you want. This is a conversation that you've been waiting to happen. Two of swords, a red flag. So prepare. Six of pentacles, there's a compromise. You and this person, this partnership, you would have an amicable compromise. A very happy compromise. Look at that. And, you know flowers it means that you're going to continue talking again with this person or situation okay so i hope you find the time that you need like something tells me you need to kind of take a break something tells me in a nutshell take a break take a break if your intuition is telling you're tired take a break taking a break is very important for me i've got this channel i've got a brand i've got this other things that i'm doing but when I need to take a break, I drop everything. So please don't judge me if I don't upload or there's some re-upload from the, from the team because that is me. That is me doing me. Okay? And if I want longevity in YouTube, I've got to look after myself, my energy, and my voice. So, yep, taking a break is very important. And this is my reading. Thank you, Sagittarius, for your support. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being with me in the highs and the lows. I am so grateful to you guys for private breathing, for the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for the coffee. I'll connect with you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ooh, baby.